Vampire Lolly, right? We got a bunny girl. We got a dragon girl. We got a mermaid. And now a newest addition to the harem. Enter Mother Mermaid. No, we're not actually going to take her into the harem, right? I'm not sure how this is going to work because Mew has her mom. But mom needs to stay here. Will we take mom with us? Will we drop Mew off? I don't really know. But somehow I feel like the mom has to join and we are definitely Papa now. Let's begin today's reaction. Hmm. If this is DXD, I have to censor so many nipples. Ooh, that's Tio. Oh, Kaori. My bad. Hmm. One on one scene with Kaori. We're gonna start reminiscing about the past. <laughs> UA shows up to make sure nothing is going on. <laughs> Don't you dare try to get nostalgic with my husband. Yeah, that's right. You're like fourth in line. Like, actually, with Mew. No, no, Mew doesn't count. She's a daughter. What does the medallion do when reflected on the moon? Will this show the labyrinth somehow? Okay, it's charging up. Now it reflects the light to the direction of the labyrinth. What? Dude, this looks like this feels like a fucking Genshin mini puzzle or something. That's where the labyrinth is, I guess, though, huh? Okay, okay. What's approaching? Uh, more CGA monsters? What? Just more missiles from the ship? It's just more missiles all the time, man. Stronger missiles, my bad. Yeah, this ship is insane. Of all the different vehicles, this ship is the most insane one. Alright, that's the last remaining bit. Another labyrinth to conquer. Let's go. Hopefully this is a fun labyrinth, not a boring one. I'm not gonna lie, like... The labyrinth episodes are not my favorite. Like, I don't really care about any of these labyrinth monsters. And I doubt you do either, right? This is just a necessary step to get the ancient magic. What, Kaori? Are you starting to realize that you ate so much better than you? <laughs> what is it? Now, she's been acting really weird lately. She kept looking at, you know, uh, Hajime too. Hmm. <laughs> Why on Shea? I think Kaori's realizing how OP the other girls are. I mean, Kaori also does things that no one else can. Yui looks kind of pissed. What's what's wrong? What, what is what is this? <laughs> Kaori's gonna get so jealous, bro. Hey, you're too short. But what? All the other girls are gonna be looking at you with those eyes? <laughs> like moments like this are way more better than ran fighting random enemies to me. I think Yue Chan is supposed to be like it's supposed to make her more childish, right? That was a lot of cheek from Shea. Or are we too strong? Maybe we just got so much stronger. Then again, is this one of the first times we're actually going into Labyrinth with um, Kaori? To conquer one? Because her previous party was obviously they can't do this shit. She just shows fucking everything when she jumps up in the air to smack it. Oh. No, not you! Opportunity ruins. <laughs> Go back to the slime. Magic melting jelly. Yo, Shea, get in there more. Tio should probably love this, right? Why is she getting in there, getting all burnt up? It's a lot of goop. That's a lot of goop. Slime monster? Giant slime blob. All right, let's go. Usually to deal with these things, we should freeze it first, right? Does it take damage? I don't think so. <laughs> Harem. <laughs> it should be called Harem. Okay, okay. You ain't Kaori, you know? Substituting out, helping out. Every time she shoots that thing, her titties just jiggle like this. Again, boing. The entire room is the monster? Maybe this isn't even its main body. Kill it in one go. It's not his real body then. 
somewhere else. He's getting monster readings from the entire room, so somewhere else there's gotta be the mana core. The, the whole body? The whole room is the mana core. I don't know, man. The follow by the monster? Oh. Oh, this is a new one. Flamethrower? I just realized this is so useful because the barrier lets us to attack from inside out. But it still holds attacks coming inside, you know? Wait, why doesn't Yue just use the gravity magic and just suck all the fucking slime? Oh, oh okay, let's just do that too. Pile driver? Yue is so short, she's gonna start drowning, man. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we saw that fish here again? The talking fish? Yo, what's the plan, Hajime? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? She going drown! Oh, maybe we're gonna get a CPR scene, mouth to mouth. Hold up, hold up. If she's smart, she would fake that she was drowning and passed out. Dumbass. Dumbass, you missed your opportunity, dumbass. You could have gotten mouth to mouth. Come on now! So it's just Kaori and Hajime here? Oh shit, one on one. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean? Because you're a teammate. What, what do you mean? We would just let you die? Because Yui's competent. It looks like you're gonna die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yui's built different. Yui was pitying you. Of course. And Yue trusts Hajime. Yue knows that she can give Hajime to other girls, but Hajime will still only look at Yue kind of deal. That's how much confidence Yue has. Yeah, wake up. Come on, let's go. Hmm, you're not gonna get pity points from me, Kaori. No, she's still better than you. How the fuck is he using his blade to cut these blades? Oh, grass. Warships and there's a passenger ship? Huh? Voices? Pirates? This is all an illusion? The fuck? Suddenly, ship battle? I have no clue. I Are we... Illusion? I... Illusion? Okay, okay. Kaori being useful. But why couldn't he shoot it down? It goes through it. It's fake? Well, what is it then? So he took out the bullets and what is he shooting now? What is that? What, what, what's the difference? Magic bullets? I don't really know the difference. Let him die. Let him die. Oh, oh, bye. oh, oh I, I didn't actually mean it, but oh, okay, bye. So she, by her using magic on that person, he just died? <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing. This is a girl, like a priest, that's like realizing that she just killed and took a life. But yeah, it's not real. It's not real. I'm terrible, man. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, we don't like girls that apologize too much, huh? All right, Cody, you can kill these people. Eight. God. Oh. We haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> Dumbass. Who are their opponents? We can end the war? Oh yeah, we can kill them all. That's a simple solution. We're gonna do it? I'm down. Fuck it. Brute force, let's kill them all. And we're... I'm... What the... We're, we're back. We're back to before the Genjutsu just showed up. What the fuck? So, did they just skip all that killing part? I guess they just, it's assumed that Hajime took them all out and now we're out of that illusion? Right, every great labyrinth has like a theme, a concept. Tragedy of a crazed god, because they did specifically mention god of heat. Worshipping god of heat led to this? Hmm. And like, you know how the last episode, the de the Freed was saying a demon's, a god's apostle. They didn't mention the god's name at that point, but I wonder if it's the same god of heat. Are there multiple gods? 
Or is there only one God? He did go insane. Kind of? And the mana thing? The crystal thing that was above? I, I don't know. But like mental sanity, I think Yui did help a lot. You're not a 300 plus year old ancient vampire lolly. I'm sorry, Cody. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so mean to Cody, dude. Why am I so mean to her? I have no idea why I'm so mean to her. Yeah, stop apologizing. You're just, you're just feeling sorry for yourself too much. Come on. Because she's thirsty for you. Literally, the only reason is because she's thirsty for you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Am I tricking you down? Yes, bitch, you're useless. <laughs> she is great. Yeah, now you has accepted her and she is part of the gang. Well, she didn't. Uh-huh. And she said Desu a lot, and now she's part of the gang. She doesn't need magic. Her magic is strength. Yeah, you should learn from you should learn from Shea. Uh -huh. Wow, this is a fucking slap in the face like a wake up call. It's like nervous smiles. Damn, you make eye contact? Okay. Yes, you don't have to tell me twice. I understand! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But what is Kaori to you, though? Then you need to leave this harem. <laughs> Damn. But this is the truth. It's a harsh truth, but I think she needs to hear that. Okay, back at the human... In okay, okay, I, I like it again when we go back to this group. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Is she getting taken away from knowing the truth? Hold up, hold up. Maybe it's not about the truth, but it's the fact that she's still the goddess of plenty. You know, it's, she's, a, she's a threat to everybody. Divine Mountain? For what? Sounds like you're gonna fucking sacrifice her and she's hypnotized or something. Divine Mountain? Oh, she broke out of it. I don't think she calls herself a deity. It says everybody else gave her the nickname the goddess of plenty, the goddess of harvest or some shit. Bro, where is... Ugh. Who does she represent? She part... The princess knows! Good. Is this the king's orders? Is this the pope's orders? But who is she gonna... No, Shizuku probably. And again, the Labyrinth episodes, I don't really give a shit about fighting slimes. Nobody really cares about these random CJ monsters. What I care more about during these kind of episodes is the character interactions. Right now, kind of focused on Kaori. Kaori's feeling inferior because, of course, her fucking teammates are all OP, like, supernatural beings. How could she compete? She doesn't have to. He needs to look Hajime in the eye and notice that, like, Kaori can do things that only Kaori can do. Like... Yes, she can't do crazy gravity magic or turn into a dragon or have crazy strength, but I feel like Howdy still fills a role that no one else can. Now at the end there, with the teacher. Who is behind this? The Pope? The King? Because who is the princess going to tell? Hell, probably Shizuku, but imagine if the princess, like, asked the King or, like, the Pope. That would just be worse because I feel like they're all in it together. So, this Divine Mountain. Why do I feel like she's about to get sacrificed in the Divine Mountain? But then again, the nun did say that, you know, we're not here to kill you or hurt you. So, we'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.